Hey everybody, welcome back. So we went back and fought him again, and we actually thought we were going to lose that second time because I actually killed Isla myself with the fire spell on the first turn. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but everyone died except Ghetto and Jacques, and they barely were hanging on in the end of that fight, so we did win. And to answer it the question like... that was asked in the last video, he has 4100 HP, so... So, uh, hopefully... You know what, actually, I'm going to heal everybody real quick. That was the rock golem, in case you're looking him up. Yeah, uh, we... He was looking it up while I was running back, and, um... And, uh, it was like, this is recommended to skip, and I'm like, nah, we're gonna get it. Well, I like this one right. walkthrough I was reading. It was, like, location, you know, ghetto chapter 2, mountain pass, like, you know, gives all this information. It's like, difficulty? Rather difficult. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Wow, we got 78,000 pots. Sheesh. We got a stone of magic, mega medicine, the goss rune for axe users, blessed helm, bless... Cos? Cask? Cask. Blood armor, fine chain mail, premier leather, new tunic, silver robe, kite shield, gauntlet, medicines, beautiful kennel, and a question mark statue, which I believe is a hex doll. Okay, so let's see. We just got a whole bunch of stuff. No, I don't want to quit the medicine. Good gravy. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh yeah. Definitely want that. Chainmail. Whoa! Okay, I remember the blood armor. <clears throat> so if it says down at the bottom, plus 70 defense, plus 20 power, speed, skill, and repel. I think that's what that means. But I take 15 damage per turn. Interesting. Um, so it's so, really good with one downside. Yeah, um, I actually do use this sometimes, but... I usually counteract it by giving him three items that restore health, so he actually they'll end up restoring the same amount they're losing. Um, there's a character I specifically do this with later in the game if I play with that character, so I'll bring it up again then. But I'm not going to have him wear it. Um, or ooh, wow, or it's what you give to your least favorite character so they are always out of the commission. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and give him the leather. What's that, Polika? Give... I'm sorry, you're dead again. Uh, yeah, hold on. I want Isla to have really good armor. Okay, yeah, I want to. So, see he, the. Uh, I could give her that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give her the premier leather only because I need her. Is it that much? Hold on. Is it going up by forty six or up to forty six? Up to forty six. I don't know if it's that much better. Yeah, it's only three better. And you're losing the repel. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. See, this says up 15. Oh. He can't be going up to 15. Well, then I'm very wrong, apparently. <laughs> well, UN helper. So in that case, that's kind of an incredible piece of armor, then. The yeah, okay, that's what I thought. I thought it was up... Clearly it goes that up amount. by the amount that's listed there. It's not to that amount, it's by that amount. Everyone knows that. Okay, I was just like, that doesn't seem right. Okay, um... So, I'm gonna go ahead and give him the fine chain mail. Jacques. I'm gonna leave that alone. I think she can wear the silver robe. No, she can't. Ugh, this is so difficult to use. Um, let's give it. Let's give it to him. Um, okay, I don't have anything better. Uh, So we're pretty good. We'll just go with that. And we're off to see this village that everyone's talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. All this smoke in California has got my allergies all messed up. 
Oh, yeah. How bad is that there? It, well, I'm pretty far north, but it's definitely- the smoke is definitely up here. I mean, it's- it's reached- I mean, I think they said down south, it's like- it's like considered an air hazard now, it's so bad, but, um, there's enough up here to affect me. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What helper? I'm not attacking Charmander, I'm attacking a Salamander. Oh, by the way, I finally beat Pokemon Ultra Moon. It was really good. Nice. I actually like the storyline a little better than the original one. I I'm just I just don't understand why they did black and white and black and white two. It was amazing that they, they extended the storyline and they haven't done that since. I don't understand. They just were like, we're gonna do mostly the same game, but just some changes. And I'm like, no. <laughs> I mean. It was enough changes in the story to keep it interesting, but it was also mostly the same thing, and it just irritates me. I don't know why they couldn't do the same thing they did Black and White 2 with a completely different story. Well, it wasn't completely different, it was an, an extension of the first one. Yeah, but that's also at significant expense to have to develop the storylines and all that type of stuff. All the dialogue they have to redo. I mean, that's it's a lot of yeah, work. I guess it kind of made more sense to for uh, Black and White, because Black and White had a very unique story. Um, compared to most of the other Pokemon games, so I think it was it gave them the ability to to extend the storyline. Hmm. Okay, for some reason I thought this was a dead end. Did I go? Am I nuts? Well, I we all know the answer to that question, but I mean, like, <laughs> I meant in regards to this. I was like, well, I mean, I can't answer that question, but yeah. Okay, come on. Not, Stop it, dancing on him. My, my answers to these questions are not going to be beneficial <laughs> in the least to telling us if we're going the right direction. Whoa, what? Recipe number seven off that dead body. Nice. That's how I get my cooking recipes. <laughs> Some more Breath of the Wild references. In a lot of the... What is it? In the inns, I think, in Breath of the Wild, there's like posters... Or like stables and stuff. There's like posters on the walls. And if you look at them closely, you realize, wait a second, these are all recipes that are actually valid recipes that you can cook in the game. <laughs> oh, in the game. Yeah, like actually like cook in the game. And so it'll be like, you know, like chili mushrooms and apples. And turns out you can combine the mushrooms and apples together to make like sautéed mushrooms and fruit or something like that. And, you know, I whatever you get else. into that game. Like, Helper and I tried, but we got so frustrated because we kept... We didn't know what we were supposed to be doing, and we kept getting killed by the same enemy because we kept getting lost and we'd run into the same enemy again. So I literally have not played more than an hour of this game, and I really should. But um, I remember one of the first things we discovered was you could throw things in the fire. Uh -huh. And then we threw everything we could find in the fire, and then we ended up setting all the grass on fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, this game is amazing, you can set everything on fire! It's like, am I a pyro all of a sudden? What the heck? Um, yeah, I, was gonna say I know we have intention to go back and play it, but I just got I just got so frustrated. I like open world, but there's a difference between open world and like being chunked in it and being like, good luck, you know, it's like, ah. Yeah, Breath of the, like, of the Wild definitely dumped you in at the, if, or at least the first time you're in it, it feels like it just dumps you in at the deep end. You're like, what am I doing? This is overwhelming. Yeah, I like a little bit of direction. Like in Skyrim, it's open world, but they give you some direction, like go to Whiterun. You know, in Breath of the Wild, they're like, you got an iPad, good luck. <laughs> that is what it is, basically. <laughs> so I just was like, what the heck? Oh, man. Yeah, no, I mean... <laughs> you, you like my description? <laughs> yeah, you got an iPad, good luck. I mean, it kind of is that, now that you mentioned it. I mean, that's not entirely the only reason. The, the only reason I remember that is because um, I bought the collector's edition. Ironically, my microphone is perched on top of the box right now. <laughs> um, but the sole reason I got the collector's edition was I wanted the carrying case for the Switch. Mm -hmm. so I don't know if any of you guys remember when the Switch came out, carrying cases were the hardest thing to find for it. It was extremely rare to find a carrying case, and they were going for like over $100 on the, the black market, I guess you could say. And so everyone was shocked I had a carrying case, and I said, well, I got it in my collector's edition. But the the uh, pattern on it is the same pattern as the iPad device and in the game. The, for reference, it's the Sheikah Slate? Yeah, that's it. I, I couldn't remember what it was called. Uh, no, what was I going to say about the Sheikah So the, the one thing that I think would be cool in the Assassin's Creed game as you're going through in, in the more recent entries, you can pair them off your PlayStation uh, on your iPad and there's like a companion app. And so you can pull up your map and like pull up treasure and all sorts of things on your iPad. 
and like be navigating on that. I think it'd be really neat if you could actually do that. If they if they rigged it up so that you could, you know, have the companion in the Nintendo app on the iPad and map it to the uh, game somehow, but. Uh, <laughs> it's ironic because you're kind of describing the situation of the Wii U. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Well, you could have the map and everything on the screen on the controller, and then you could have the game on the TV. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that's true. Um, that's kind of funny that it went, we were going backwards now. I need to heal everybody. Well, you are and you aren't. I mean, like, the, the Wii U. So I played Wind Waker HD on the Wii U, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, but it was actually kind of frustrating going back and forth now that you mention it. And yet, for some reason, I didn't well, find it frustrating doing that with Assassin's Creed. I don't know why. Um, I think the Wii U itself was a good idea. I think the games that came out for it didn't execute it anywhere near its capabilities. I would agree. Like, I was ex the entire time the Wii U was out, the one game I was waiting for was a Dungeons & Dragons game. Because I was like, give the controller to the, the master, and then everyone else had Wiimotes, and looking at the TV, and you could have a Dungeons & Dragons-like game on on there. And I was like, how did that not happen? That's actually a really <laughs> good point. Like, yeah, give the DM the... the whatever. Yeah, what I mean, it doesn't even have to be called? Dungeons & Dragons. Uh, the Dungeon Master, I don't know. Well, yeah, but, but uh, stuff but like, I was like that. Something to that effect. It would not have been that difficult. And I was like, how did this not happen? Like, it just boggles my mind. Um... <laughs> I don't know. It just irritated me that I kept waiting and waiting and waiting for this kind of game. And the other thing that I wanted to come out on it was Fossil Fighters. I was like, Fossil Fighters would be amazing on the Wii U, but it never happened. In fact, the only Fossil Fighters that happened recently was horrible. Yeah, there were... Alright, back to it in. Yeah, there was a lot of missed opportunities. Well, this is an interesting village. It's a it's village? It's of a cliff. Yeah. It's the Mantor village, isn't that what they said? What's a mantor? I guess we're gonna find out. You know, I probably should have healed more than I did. I'm guessing a mantor is like a chimera. It's like a lion thing with a scorpion tail. Uh, no, I think it's a giant bunny. You're probably right. Bunnies live on the side of cliffs. Well, the ones in Monty Python <laughs> actually kind of do. <laughs> but those aren't bunnies, to be clear. They just look like bunnies. So, this is the book. It's the village of the mantor trainers, right? That's right. The ability to train those insects allowed this tribe to survive. Insects. Hmm. Mantor trainers? Yes, the Karna tribe of Lebuk has could always control the mantors. So even after they were conquered by Harmonia, they were allowed to live. Allowed to live? Come on, don't you know the history of the grasslands? Be mentors. What's that? It's coming. <laughs> Why can't we ever be left alone? Well, we did just waltz right into their village, to be fair. It's true. Alright, so, so we have Franz, Ruby, Mentor Legionnaire A, Mentor A, and yeah, B. Wait, we've heard the name Franz before. Yeah, we have heard from us. So I think the only appropriate thing to do here is to kill them all. Because we're the intruders here, so we should just kill them. Okay, um, I need to heal. Because... I'm oh, silly. I... For some reason in the back of my mind, I wasn't... I couldn't remember exactly if I need to heal or not. Like... That's why I put some medicines on. Um... I'm also hesitant to use fire again. I can't imagine why. I had- I don't know if you noticed that I had them defend so they wouldn't run into the fray this time. Like Ghetto and Shock. Oh, okay, well, they're gonna rush straight to me. That'll help. Well, as long as the one that you targeted doesn't. I think I targeted Ruby. I don't know where Ruby is. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah. Here's hoping. Here's Ruby. She's probably the only one in the fray now. I don't see anyone else near her. That was easy. Knocked out Ruby. Yeah, it's just 
kind of hoping to take them all out. Whoa, that was easy. <laughs> so far, you're doing so. I have never figured out their hats. Their hats do not seem aerodynamic. Like, what's the point? Like, you think they would have, like, designed their uniforms to be efficient for riding these man tours, but it just doesn't seem efficient to me. It is. I mean, that's a parachute. That's a parachute. Yeah, it's, it's, so after, look, they ride them into battle, occasionally they fall off. This is a well-known issue with man tours. Well, you can, there's Wikipedia pages about it, okay? It's well documented. Well documented problems with man tour training. And so, inevitably, they have the appropriate safety equipment to wear. Namely, they wear parachute hats. I mean, you've heard of parachute pants, surely. These are the hats. I'll be really upset if we lose this, because that means I have to do the golem fight again. Oh, no, you're right. Don't lose this. <laughs> Good, okay. Like how Franz is lying under that, that mantor. Yeah, that would have been bad. I got a medicine C. That would have been bad if you had lost that. That would have been embarrassing if I had lost that. Because I was just being lazy. What do you want? Do tell. Why do you come at us without warning? We have our orders from the regular army not to let any unidentified people in. The regular army? You mean from Harmonia? What are you, a guard dog? Ooh. What did you say? What's going on? Wait a minute, it's that guy. Greetings, Bishop. I spotted these suspicious looking characters and was about to run them off. But they beat me up. Bishop. Who are you? Are you Harmonian? No, I am Ghetto, assigned to the Harmonian Regional Army Southern Frontier Defense Force. Good gracious, I. It's so long. A mercenary, huh? Yes. And what do you want here? We have instructions from the Defense Force to search for the true rune. Oh, really? I see. This man is a mercenary of the Harmonian Army. Take him to the village. Uh, y yes, sir. Hmm, so we can say, will you tell me your name, what brings you here, Bishop, or hmm, <laughs> hmm, <laughs> no one's going to get that. Um, let's ask him his name. It might be Sazerai. Bishop, will you tell me your name? What's in a name? There are things that are better kept secret with this type of mission. What type of mission? If you say so. Well, if you'll excuse me. Bye, Bishop. Somebody. You have permission to enter the village, but don't try anything funny. Wow, they're flying really close to each other. Hey, they I trained can't them. be safe. <laughs> it's odd to find a bishop in a place like this. Remember Sasserai? Yeah. The bishop who <laughs> accompanied the Harmonian Regional Army from Kalaria? Now there's... Now there's this... Now there's this other one. I don't understand that sense. Now there's this other one here in Labuk. This is not just a coincidence. Bishop, who's that? Seems like a pretty important man. Yeah, you have to remember that Isla didn't actually see Sasserai. That's what they were trying to say, is they left her in the end so she wouldn't cause a ruckus. So, this is her first bishop that she's seen. Well, he's important in title, but little else. The one leading the Harmonian army is the bishop. The fact that he came out to a place like this must mean something's up. The Harmonian army? That's right. First is the Harmonian army, under which is the Harmonian regional army. We defense units, unit guys are below them. Then below us, you have the third class citizen units. Like the guy who was riding that Mantor before. 
It all seems so complicated. And Kariya, the chief, is most important. Everyone else is the same. I like that system. <laughs> that seems almost too simple to be a military. Yeah, but I think it works for Kariya just because they're so much smaller. <laughs> yeah, you can get away with that when you have a small organization, like the flat, flat structure. Yeah. Yeah, but as you scale up into the thousands, it kind of gets a little bit difficult to maintain the flat structure. Uh-oh, this is looking interesting. What do you mean by that? Just as I said, we have nothing to sell to Harmonians. What? Who said I'm Harmonian? What is, what's your gripe? Your name and appearance are Harmonian. You eat different food, right? You're so much like them, it sickens me. You, cut it out. Oh, you're right. The Harmonian brass might get mad. Ugh. Do what you wish. Franz might seem kind of like a jerk, but give him a chance. It's not so bad. What was that all about? Well, that was, uh, um... Just a complicated situation. I don't know if I need to explain it now or if the game does it. I can't remember. I know the game never really comes out and explains it. The game explains a lot of it, as I recall. Over time, yeah. Huh? That thing on the roof? It's a mantor's nest. There are lots of larvae inside. Don't peek if you find bugs disturbing. This was my... <laughs> I didn't see the comma! <laughs> this was my dog's, but you can have it if you like. I won't tell. I read this was my dog's butt. <laughs> Except Arabian kennel. So now we have two kennels. A fancy one and an Arabian one. What are we going to do with all these kennels? Uh, I have no idea. What, I mean, you can't do anything with kennels except for... Uh, I guess we could start sleeping in them in the, uh, out in the field. <laughs> like tents. Like a tent. Oh, it's rather dark in here. I guess it makes sense because there's like no windows on these buildings. I'm uh, sure that won't affect oh, my the... ability to read anything. Hi there. Um, I hear Franz caused trouble. He tends to jump to conclusions. Sorry about that. Ah, so this is Iku and Franz that we heard about. Mm-hmm. They must be famous if people all the way in Claria are talking about them. Or infamous. <laughs> yeah. She seems like the wild and unruly type. So, oh, a duck! Hey. I stopped by to trade. It's fun. The book's a typical Grison's village, even though it's technically part of Harmonia. Really? I'm on duty. I'm not goofing off. Let's see if anybody else is hiding back here. Oh, I see somebody. Barely. We must pass along stories of the old days when the book was part of Grasslands. Future generations should know this. Ah, oh, see, so we're part of the grasslands. Hey, I'll try to talk to you. I've read enough. Would you like to read this? I would like script number four. Wait, Thank you. script? What could that be for? We got a script? Oh, man. It's almost like we should get to some actors. Ah, Captain Ghetto, are you sightseeing too? Oh, you're from Claria, so I guess you know who I am. I'm from Claria, and we get quite a lot of travelers from the book. But it seems Harmonia doesn't let them go beyond Kalaria. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to the other person. Hey, honey, I don't like this atmosphere. We should go home. Kind of afraid of heights, so I'm not sure I'd actually want to come to this village myself. <laughs> yeah, it'd be kind of terrifying to actually visit, just because every time you walk between the buildings, you'd be like, oh, I could literally fall to my death at any moment. Yeah, and it just takes one lucky shot from a mantor flying overhead. Speaking of which, you didn't point it out, but there actually are mantors flying overhead. They the are, yeah. I found this on the ground. You can have it. Except herb seeds. Yes, thank you. Alrighty. Let's see. Do you have anything for sale? Person? Oh, I thought my game froze. Oops, a customer. Sorry. I didn't see you there. Freak me out, person. <laughs> oh, I don't need that. Um... 
Nope, I'm good. Let's see here. Yeah, see, there's one right there above us. How you doing? Uh, let's see. Heals five per turn. A tulip hat. Yeah, I think I'm good. I don't need about anything. Oh, a ladder. Can we climb ladders? Oops, yes, we can. we can. Awesome. Can't wow, this is seriously tall. I'd be kind of afraid to climb that ladder, actually. Hey guys, what's going on? We are mere pawns in harmonious games. That's true, actually. No one can match our mastery of mentors. Soon Harmonia must acknowledge our skill and our humiliation will end. I get the posters of themselves back there. Hey, Mantor. I think they're pretty cool, actually. I like how they designed them. They are really neat. Like, they got a, a design that seems practical enough, I guess. Yeah. This is the Mantor's takeoff point. Don't loiter if you have no business here. This was actually in the intro, if you all remember. Um, I don't know if I want to talk to Franz just yet. Let's explore the rest of the village. I think talking to Franz moves on with the story. I can't remember. It usually does. <laughs> I was going to say, talking to the only named character we know in the region? Hmm. It's or like I've walking played... over here. <laughs> well, so much for that. Dang I was it. Like, I was like, whoa, I played RPGs before. I know how this works. Apparently not, though. Ah, it's her. Yes, it's her. We remember her. We chased her all over the place. That's the one from Karaya. It's that woman. Hey, hey, hang on. Ghetto's probably like, what? Yeah, Isla's left. We're good. Okay. Wait, I'm um... trying to remember. How much did this party actually see of those people so far? Uh, Isla, Ace, and Joker followed her around in the the area, but um. Everybody else was with Ghetto in the village, so Ghetto hasn't seen her before. Okay. That's why I was making a joke. Oh, we got to zoom in to see this guy. He's just a traitor. Um, I don't want anything. I don't play this game. Well, and aside don't from when they just met the bishop, game. I'm trying to remember, how, had they seen the bishop previously? Um, I don't think so. No. The... Hugo had seen that bishop before. Yeah, we met the bishop with Hugo's team in the in the caves. But the, I think that's it. Yeah, in the highway, the lizard highway. <laughs> See, th this game gets a little confusing on who's met whom. <laughs> I heard that a foreign merchant made a fortune selling the lizard clan the town specialty, red peppers. I envy him for his freedom. Okay. Should we go back and talk to Franz? Or oh wait, he teleported. He teleported. Yeah, he's right here now. Huh. Let's go see what's going on. He was probably just complaining. Why are you so upset, Iku? I'm not. Then why are you being like this? All women are like that. They're like, I'm not upset when I really am. Franz, why do you have to be so... Be so... Why are you so helpful to the Harmonians? There's a lot of rumors going around that you've been blinded by money or that you've become used to the luxurious lifestyle of the Harmonians. Yeah, this looks luxurious. You might as well be one. To hell with everybody. They know nothing about me. What I do is my business. Come on, Iku. Don't tell me you believe them. Ugh. <sighs> Aw, poor Iku, what's going on? I want to be in part of your romance. <laughs> huh, was that a glint of shame in your eyes just now? No, it was, uh, confusion. Not in your eyes. <laughs> Walk five steps and something happens. Indeed. Is everyone here? Oh, now Franz is. So sorry I'm late. Hmm. As the bishop appointed by the Holy Kingdom of Harmonia, I bring you new orders. Because of your mantor training abilities, 
I'm giving you third class citizens this opportunity. If you succeed in this next war, you shall be granted second class citizenship in the Holy Kingdom of Harmonia. Really? If we become second class citizens? But, but... Silence. The Southern Regional Army of the Holy Kingdom of Harmonia has already crossed the frontier into Grassland. You'll go assist them in their search for the notorious Firebringer. First, head for the Saphir Clan. Any questions? We're going to be fighting the Saphir Clan? One of the six Grassland clans? That would be the case. B but we were originally Grasslanders, so to fight them is to... But it means we can become second-class citizens. But we're of the same blood! Shh, quiet! You'll leave once the emissary from the... Oh, no, I'm having trouble reading this. What is that saying? From Kalaria. From Kalaria gets here. Meanwhile, I'd suggest you decide where your loyalty lies. Your true loyalty. Hey, what's going on? They don't seem too enthusiastic about those orders. Well, that's because... Well, well, I think it would be too difficult for you to understand. Not really, Ace. She's not dumb. What do you mean? Why can't you just tell me? This village used to be a grasslander village. You heard it before, right? That this is a village that has that was allowed to live? That's what I don't understand. What does it mean to be allowed to live? They were granted permission to exist as long as they were of service to Harmonia. Now they're being asked to fight against their own kind. They have a hard choice to make. Ah. Uh. Let's join! Yay! Oh look! It's our 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 lovers. Let's go interrupt them again. This is fun. <laughs> Didn't you hear Iku? What's just like? You... Huh? What? That. What's that's... just like you said? Yeah, it makes total so sense. I... So much sense. I don't... Is... Help her! Can you explain the sentence to me? I don't understand it. I think, I think there's a missing sentence. He says, I think there's a missing sentence. The sentence we missed was, I told you so. <laughs> he says, the missing sentence is, I told you so. Yeah, she... What's just like you, I... Anyways, let's move on. Weren't you listening? Second class citizenship. We have a chance of becoming second class citizens. Okay, what's so good about that? Don't you understand? If we become second class citizens... We won't be taxed as heavily. We'll be able to travel freely. We'll have permission to trade. Finally, we can be treated like real human beings. Human beings? What's that? Iku. Uh, so you think we have to be second class to be considered worthy of humane treatment now? Iku, I think you're missing the point here. Iku, I was forced to work at Crystal Valley like a slave, and I dreamt about returning here. When I finally got back, I realized nothing had changed. We're still slaves. We have no real choices, and the only reason we're allowed to live is because of our power to train Mantor. If you've been so unhappy working for Harmonia, why do them so many why do them any more favors? Iku, we can't go back to living like Grasslanders. Fifty years have already gone or have gone by already. How many Grassland people helped us take Lebuk back from Harmonia? We're not a grassland village anymore. Stop sympathizing with the old fogies. No. Hey, what are you two arguing about? What's a slave anyway? <laughs> <coughs> hey, uh, I love... Well, what do you want? You're the ones from earlier. Yeah, uh, sorry. We, we didn't mean to eavesdrop. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> are you having a lover's quarrel? Lovers? 
So sorry, didn't mean any harm anyway. Anyway, isn't there more to the story? <laughs> Iku, I'm staking my life on this mission. Regardless of what you may think or what the other villagers may think, I'm not going to change the way I've decided to live. I've got to get ready. Bye. Franz. Do Harmonian mercenaries also spy on third-class citizens? With one eye open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's surround her! <laughs> She'll never see us coming! Um, it was none of our business, sorry. Oh, it's okay. I've heard what Franz wanted to say. I must go now. Um, could you tell me something? What's this all about? I came from the Cry Clan, and I don't really know anything. Kariah, from Grassland, I see. I think she should have said, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> Come in, it's not much, but it'll do. Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks for inviting me in. It's tiring standing around and talking. Well, do you want to be a slave and go mine? Is that Would that be less tiring? It's true. Uh, you might have to take these. I'm having a little bit of difficulty. Okay. Hey, Captain. Captain, what should we do? About what? Why stay and listen to them and talk about old stories? What do you say we check out that bishop? The woman who is with them is the same one Joker and I saw back at Kariah. Seems suspicious. Yeah, totally. So, Captain? Um, I could say I guess, but I actually, for the purpose of this LP, I'm gonna say, let's see what she has to say. I'll listen to her. The situation might have changed from back then. Alright then, we'll just... I want you, Joker, and Jacques... Joker? <laughs> I want you, Joker, and Jacques to go. Yes, sir. Then, I'll see you later. I think, if I recall correctly, you get more interesting dialogue if Ghetto stays here, but I hopefully I didn't mess that up. So, what do you want to know? What's all the arguing about? Well, I suppose this could be confusing for a Karaya girl. Did you know that in the old days there was a big war between Harmonia and Grassland? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, the Mantor trainers in the book joined Grassland and the army that followed Smappy, the Flame Champion. But I heard that Grassland won that war! That the Flame Champion won! That's how many... sorry. That's how it may look from Grassland. But in the end, it got very confusing. The book was forced to become a part of Harmonia. At the very end of the war, the Flame Champion disappeared. Grassland returned to peace, and we were forgotten. Huh. There were only two choices for those who fell to the Harmonians. Death or life as third-class citizens, in other words, as slaves. Sorry, I misread that. Death or life as third-class citizens, in other words, as slaves. Yes, but because we had the power to train insects, we were allowed to live as third-class citizens. So people put up with this all these years without resisting? Why? Well, that's... It's how we were brought up. The children of third-class citizens were taken to Crystal Valley and forced to work the first for the first-class citizens. They were brought up to think like Harmonians. It worked pretty well. Indoctrinated at an early age, the children were integrated into Harmonian society. That's where Franz grew up, Crystal Valley. Makes sense. I thought Franz was a harm. I think Franz is a Harmonian dame too. Then does it mean that Franz was tricked by the Harmonians? Uh. Isla, there's no simple answer to that question. But. Captain, there's something suspicious going on. His devil ears picked it up. It looks like even the Mantor trainers who protect the altar are being forced to deploy. I'm saying that you've got it wrong. Altar. The altar? Oh. Are you talking about the altar of the Mantor trainers? The altar of the insect trainers? What on earth is that? She said Mantor trainers. Come on. Mm -hmm. 
Well, when the Flame Champion invaded Harmonia, back when this village was still fighting as part of Grassland, the Flame Champion Smappy built an altar on Mount Sinai in the north and asked that it be protected. Because of the Harmonian occupation, the insect trainers began referring to the altar of the Flame Champion as their own so that the authorities would not destroy it. The altar of the Flame Champion, huh? That's probably what they're after. What should we do? There's no point in staying here. If that bishop is after that altar, maybe we should go ahead and beat him to it. Iku, could you tell us where it is? I'll do better than that. I'll show you the way. The altar of the flame champion. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 Iku dun. We'll join you for now. I think if you go, if you don't choose to listen, I think you just go outside and see stuff happening outside a cave, and that's pretty much it. I, I don't really think. It's that important either way. I prefer to hear Ghetto's commentary on this whole thing. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Actually, I'm gonna stay and save. We'll see you guys next time when we go find this altar of the flank champion. Bye for now. Bye, guys!